Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is your Arabic teacher Sam and a very warm welcome back to another video here on the channel. As promised every Saturday we're going to have a surprise, we're going to have a Saturday surprise. Because as I say we need to keep one day open a week where we can just um, stick something in and we can improvise. You know, sometimes something comes up in the week and I think that'd be cool to do. Or nothing comes up in the week that I think would be cool to do and I make up something as a little surprise just to shake things up a little bit. So what I thought we'd do is that in the podcast um, earlier this week I sort of stumbled across um, the idea of just going over an Arabic root, because um, Arabic roots are fascinating and they blow my mind. So, um, so let's talk about one. So I wanted to talk about, to start, I was talking about Arabic roots, I wanted to use the root to do with starting things. And maybe just build up a couple of bits of vocab and stuff. We'll keep this video nice and short, and um, you guys will leave it in five minutes, just with, um, you know, with a couple of phrases and um, a few bits and bobs of context around this root. So what is this root that we're talking about today? We are talking about the root letters, Ba, Dal, and Hamza. Ba, Dal, and Hamza. Um, and it is usually written in its form one as the verb Ba, Da'a. Ba, Da'a. First point to mention, first benefit we can take from it, is that Elif is never a root letter. Um, Elif cannot be a root letter. Um, so it's not correct that it is Ba, Da'a. It is Ba, Da'a. Um, yeah, and when we're writing out the root letters of words, um, Hamza is a root letter. Elif cannot be a root letter. Um, yeah, so Ba, Da'a. Even for verbs like ekele, um, you know, often you know beginners mistake the verb ekele as being a beginning, um, you know, a beginning weak verb, um, like wajeda is or wasifa. But ekele is not because it's not an elif at the beginning; it's a hamza, and hamza is, is not a weak letter. It's a consonant, hamza. Eh. Um, and we pronounce it in English, but we just don't admit it most of the time. You know, we can't really start any word like in or about. Or um, you know any anything that begins with a vowel in English, we do pronounce an e, eh, even if it's a very soft one. Um, but we don't write a hamza, but we do we do have it. Good. So the verb bede, eh, okay, bede, eh, and in the present tense yebdeu, yeb, yebdeu, bede, eh, yebdeu. And um, the word generally for a beginning of something, like in the beginning of a story or something like that, is bidaya, bidaya tun. So you can say like in the beginning, fil bidaya, fil bidaya, kada wa kada, you know, blah blah blah, fil bidaya. Next one is a really useful word actually, is the verb ibtidai, 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 or ibtidai specifically. Um, no, I learned this word um, because I used to be a primary school teacher. Some of you don't know that um, ibtidai. I was horrible at my job. Um, but uh, that's a story for a different day. Ibtidaiya, So a primary school teacher is a um, is a mudarris ibtidai. You know, or, or I used to say mudarrisun fi madrasatin ibtidaiyatin. You know, so a, a primary school is a madrasa. Madrasa, madrasa ibtidaiya, madrasa tun ibtidaiyatun. Um, yeah, because in English we sort of use the word primary, um, and so I thought that it might be like awaliya, like the f like the first school or whatever. But in Arabic they don't use that. They use this term ibtidaiya, meaning it's like the 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 beginning school. That there are I, I do have an episode in my podcast actually about the about the schooling system in Arab countries, um, and there's something called hadana which um, students go to before it's like kindergarten I suppose. We don't say kinder kindergarten in the UK. In fact, I don't think people, many, I don't think everyone in the UK knows whether it's kindergarten or kindergarten because of how the Americans pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's kindergarten. I've seen it spelled. Hopefully some Americans can help me out and put it in the comments, inshallah. But, um, but anyway, like for the Arabic system, you can go to my podcast and there's an episode on it. Anyways, so um, yeah, so ibtidaiya, something being being ibtidaiya, that is primary, specifically to do with education. Um, a little phrase that I use quite often is um, when you say like, let's get started. You know, like I say at the beginning of lessons quite often, let's get started. Fel nebde. Just memorize that as a phrase. That sounds nice. Fel neb, fel nebde. Fel nebde. It's like a command to yourself. Let's get started. Fel nebde. Or you can just say le nebde. You know, this this lamb, this, this sort of lamb al-amr, sort of like a command lamb, but you sort of can make it to yourself. It's not a conventional fir al-amr, it's not a conventional um, imperative, but uh, quite often lessons start with fal You know, let's let's get started. Fal uh, It's quite a nice little phrase, if you remember. Fal Good, and that and, and the fal actually comes from the form one, the bada'a. 
بدأ نبدأ would mean we start and then um, لنبدأ is um, is uh, you know the the fi'l majzum of it uh, because of lam لنبدأ good فلنبدأ um, nice so the, the, the last thing that I wanted to mention is that this also comes from where we get the word مبتدأ from as well مبتدأ مب تدأ مبتدأ yeah the مبتدأ when we talk about um, making um, you know when we talk about making sentences in Arabic noun sentences if we're having a a jumla ismiya we have a مبتدأ and a خبر so for example the مبتدأ will be just the thing that we're starting the sentence with right المبتدأ could be something like the name Sam Sam can be a مبتدأ in a sentence Sam مدرسون Sam is a teacher. Sam mudarrisun. In this sentence, in terms of like the grammar term we would use, we'd say Sam is the mubtada and mudarris is the khabar. The khabar. These noun sentences are sometimes called elative sentences as well. Um, yeah, jumla, ism, jumla ismiya, elative sentences, nominative sentences. I just call them noun sentences. So that is a little rundown of the, the root بدأ. There probably are other terms um, that could go into it, but I wanted to keep it nice and short and just send you guys away with a few little phrases and little um, and little bits of context as well. And also just gives me a chance to have a chat with you guys for Saturday, which is very pleasant. That's everything for this video. Hope you tune in next weekend for Saturday Surprise. Tune in for the whole week. You know, every week on fr at 5 p.m., inshallah, we have stuff going on. If you missed um, yesterday and the day before the two live, um, things that I did, then that's a real shame. But you can check in on Thursday and Friday, 5 p.m. for live shows. Thursday is a live um, is a live Q and A. So if you have any questions throughout the week, you can bring them to me. And we do this on Facebook and Instagram. Um, yeah, we, we we run live. Um, and then on Friday we had a quiz. Um, I'll be announcing the the winner of the quiz on on Sunday, inshallah, in the in the Arabists Digest newsletter. You can find out information about that on my website, inshallah. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and share it if you did. And don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode and how you'd like me to go forward. I'll see you guys in the next video. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.